Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the Hierarchy Slicer. Now the Hierarchy Slicer is really an interesting visual in that it is a filter, so a slicer just like you have regularly inside of Power BI allows you to filter your data down. But the nice thing about the Hierarchy Slicer is it allows you to actually have a hierarchical view of your data in a filter. So one of the major problems with the existing slicer, the regular slicer you have available to you, is it can only really show one attribute at a time. If you want to show multiple levels of a hierarchy, for example, then you need to bring it into multiple slicers. And that's really where the hierarchy slicer excels in giving you the extra ability to be able to bring in multiple attributes that are in a hierarchy form. It also allows you to actually bring in measures values as well. It also allows you to bring in measure values as well if you want to be able to analyze and see the total sales, for example, for each of the bikes that you see listed here. It actually allows you to drill down one more level below the lowest level of your hierarchy to be able to see the value summarized up or the value aggregated up in some different way. All right, so you can see who this one was published by, who created this visual. It's a really nice one. I enjoy it quite a bit. Let's go ahead and take a look at where you need to go find it and then how you start to use it. All right, so our first stop, of course, is going to be in the Office Store. So you're going to go to store.office.com. And after you go to store.office.com, that'll take you to the Office Store that we're looking at. And you can see there's all kinds of add-ins here. What we're focused in, of course, on is the Power BI add-in. So we're going to go search for Power BI. And then probably the easiest way to find the Hierarchy Slicer is to search for it. So you can come up here for the search area, and you can type Hierarchy Slicer. Or you can even just type Hierarchy. And you should be able to find a couple items here that have to do with hierarchies. And the one that we care about, of course, is the Hierarchy Slicer. So we'll select the Hierarchy Slicer here. It'll give you a little view of what the Hierarchy Slicer looks like. And then we can select that we want to add the Hierarchy Slicer. And basically, that gives us the ability to download the slicer here. And it also allows us to download a sample report here where we can see some examples of how to use the Hierarchy Slicer. In this case, I want you to go ahead and just download the Hierarchy Slicer. And that'll download down here in the bottom for you. And then you can see really here there's some instructions on how to import and add that slicer to your reports. All right, now let's shift over to Power BI now and walk you through how you can actually use a hierarchy slicer. Now, in this case, the data that we're going to be looking at is a hierarchy of products. In fact, it's probably the same data set that was used for the sample you saw a few moments ago. It's going to be bike data. It's from AdventureWorks, if you're familiar with that data set. And so we're going to go up to the Get Data section here, and we're going to go connect into an Excel file that I have. And that Excel file that I have is called, let's see, let's find it here. Right here, underneath Data, I have a Product Hierarchy Sales. So I'll select Product Hierarchy Sales and hit Open. It's now going to connect me into the data set that I want to use for this. It's an Excel file, and it has a spreadsheet in it called By Country. So we're seeing the hierarchy right here, product, subcategory, category, the total sales, and then also a country column as well. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Load. By the way, I brought that country column in more for the capabilities of building some other item inside of the report so we can validate this is working as we would anticipate it is, or as it should. So I'll hit Load. That'll load this data into the Power BI desktop. It's going to import it into our data model, you can see. And then what we'll do is I'm going to start by just bringing this into some kind of a traditional column chart so we can view the sales by country. And so I'll go ahead and select the total sales, and I'll add country to that. And I'll bring that over here, kind of bring that out of the way, because we really do want to focus in on the hierarchy slicer. And I'll, I will bump this up a little bit. I'll bump up the x-axis the text size on this a little bit so you can actually see those different countries. Okay, now the next step that I want to do is I want to show you really the problem with regular slicers and why the hierarchy slicer is so useful. The hierarchy of slice, slicer is so useful is because if I wanted to use a regular slicer right here, and you want to use your hierarchy as part of it, then you would drag individual columns in. So I could drag in here, for instance, my category column. And you can see the categories here. But if I wanted to actually make this a multi-level view, say, for example, I wanted to bring in the subcategory as well, and you, you would think you could either drop it here or drop it below here, you can't really have multiple levels. If you try and drag one in, it's going to replace the other. So that tells you what if you, if you really wanted to use the regular native slicers, what you would have to do is you would have to import multiple slicers. So I'd have to take one, go get another, now bring subcategory into this one. And you can see as you interact with this that it does kind of cascade into the next slicer. But really what I'd like to see is a slicer that has the ability to hold the entire hierarchy. And that's what the visual that we're showing today does. And so I'm going to delete these couple regular slicers that we see here. 
and I'm going to go import the hierarchy slicer. So I'll select the import from file to import our custom visual. This is where we'll go to get our new custom visual in here that we downloaded a few moments ago. You'll hit import on that and then go find wherever you stored your hierarchy slicer that we downloaded a few moments ago. You'll find that location. I usually store all of them in the same spot just so it's easy to find. And then I'll hit open. It's now imported my custom visual here. There we go. I'll hit OK. And then I can add that uh, hierarchy slicer into my visual. So I'm going to make this a little bit larger so we can see it. I'll increase the text size once we get going in here. But you'll notice this time, now with the hierarchy slicer, I can drag in category, I can drag in subcategory, I can drag in product, and it's going to make a nice hierarchy drill through capability here where I can dig deeper into my data. And so I can drill into bikes, for example, and I can see all the subcategories, and I can drill into road bikes, and I can see all the road bikes. And the nice thing about how this works is, of course, you can select one of the instances of a product here. And you can see it selects that product and it's filtered down my values based on that selection. You can see it changes as I make changes in my selection here. Now, one other thing that you can do as well is you can also add a measure to this. You'll see there's a value section to this hierarchy slicer. And what that allows you to do is add in something like total sales. And I can drop that in here. And you'll notice that I have one more level I can drill into now. And basically, that tells you the, the summed up, at least by default, the summed up value for that particular bike. So if I drill into road bike here, I can see what the summed up value was, and that should add up to what we see on the right-hand side here. So that's kind of a nice capability to be able to actually drill in one step farther and see what those values are. Now, selecting that doesn't really do anything particular because that's just the summed up value. It's going to show the same representation that we see whenever we select the individual product. Okay? So that's kind of a neat capability that we have here with the, uh, the hierarchy slicer. Now, one of the things you'll notice is as you select items in here, it's not multi-selectable by default, but you can turn on the capability to make it multi-selectable by going underneath the Format Paintbrush. So if we go underneath the Format Paintbrush here, there's a couple things we can do. Number one, underneath the Selection area, we can actually turn off Single Select. And if we turn off Single Select, you can now multi-select values in here. So I can do a comparison. And actually, let's say I don't want to see uh, all road bikes. Maybe I just want to see a couple of these, these touring bikes. I can select just the ones that I care to be able to visualize here. So that's uh, the single select turn off capability allows you to multi-select here. I'm going to go ahead and leave that on and make it so that we can actually select just single values for, the, for this example. All right, the other thing that you have here is if you go underneath the header section, underneath headers, you have the ability to change the name of the header up on the top here. Basically, that's just the name of the slicer. And so I could come up here and I can change the name of this if I wanted to to something like uh, product category. So I can rename this real quick just to give it a more proper name. And if I wanted to, I can bump up the text size a little bit so it's a little bit better visible. All right, the other things that we have here that we have the ability to change is uh, things like the text color if we wanted to. We could also change the text size. So if we go down one farther, this is the, really the last item that we have that we can customize here. But underneath items, you have the ability to change the font color. You can also change the select color, so the, value, the color of what is selected. But if I wanted to, I can make this orange, for example, and you can see the text is now orange. I can make the select color something like the blue, and you can see what it looks like whenever you have a value selected changes there. So it's just a little way that you can play around with it a little bit. You can, of course, change the background color of the, the area as well. And then probably what you want to do as well is increase the font size of this so it's a little easier to read, maybe something like 16-point font. That way I can actually read this a little nicer, and I can drill in and see those values as well. So what you're seeing there is the blue is indicating values that are selected. The orange is in indicating all unselected values. And of course, you can kind of revert that back if you wanted to not show it that way. You can change it back to a different color if you prefer. That's really it for the hierarchy slicer. It's very easy to use. It doesn't really require a ton of talk because it's a very easy to use slicer and a very enjoyable feature. Um, you'll notice, of course, again, this is a filter that's filtering down any other item that you have on your report based on the selection that you have from this hierarchy. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and look forward to showing you our next custom visual.